why, why, why are we even talking about like content? So like content is a great way to build trust and positioning, especially long form content. Like when you think about like what a podcast is, like you have somebody in your ears for like an hour a week listening to you have like a conversation that's educating them. Like think about the level of trust that gets built through that like one to many conversation. And like just to kind of put it at scale and like, like, get, you know, uh, kind of a visual for people. Like how often do you stand, like, say you're getting 5,000 downloads a month. Like how often do you stand in front of 5,000 people and talk to them about whatever the, it is that you're discussing? Like you'd be lucky to do that. One, yeah. Once, yeah. once a year. Exactly. <laughs> at a, at a big exactly. conference. Exactly. It'd have to be a big Ex conference though. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But in contrast, it's like, okay, like if you have a podcast that you get a thousand downloads per episode, like that's a thousand people per week that you're standing in front of and having this conversation. You can't see them. You don't know they're there, but that's like that, you know, that's the kind of the mental model that I try to express to people. So with that, like that's, that's a piece of this. The other side is when you make this long form content, you can, you can chop, like you can repurpose that and chop it up into clips for every channel that you're trying to do distribution through that your target customer exists on. So say your target customer is on LinkedIn, Twitter, they do email because everybody does. <laughs> um, and then also they're on social, right? Like right. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts, or whatever, wherever else you have caught, like with that video file as the source media, you have content for every channel that you're your customers on so as a founder it's like oh you're telling me like i can sit down for two hours a week one hour of recording one hour of post-production editing and like one hour you know and that other that other post-production like includes also my scheduling of the media and i can have all of my content like <laughs> done through that process and the knock-on effect of oh yeah i have an excuse to reach out to business owners that i'm trying to get in relationship with and like invite them on the show, right? So all of those things kind of packaged together. It, it, it's one of the most high leverage things that I've seen. Again, and I, I've, I've been in digital marketing space for like 10 plus the year. I mean, I think we're coming up on 15, which is crazy, but very seldom you like stumble on these kind of arbitrages where there's so much value that's produced from like such a small like amount of lift. And it's easier than ever to do these things.